It's been 20 years since OKC's first church downtown was damaged in the bombing. Somehow the church's bell tower survived that dark day. Yeah. But age and now weather has silenced the ringing. Now a few dedicated souls are fighting to keep that music alive. Towering high above the corner of Northwest 4th and Robinson stands Don Coons. A man blessed with a set of skills, now tested by a set of bells. Oh, wow. For the first time since they went up in 1922, the city's first church will be temporarily silent, forced to carefully extract its heavenly bells after a problem from below. The floor under this is rotted. A rotted floor about to fall apart with 10,000 pounds of bronze bells atop it, the heaviest, a solid ton. The fact they've made it this far, a miracle itself. When the bombing shook the city, the church sustained heavy damage. But somehow, the tower survived. Now it's being cared for by members like Coons. I love the challenge, and, uh, and it's, it's something that's needed, and something, like you said, something I can do. Under a watchful eye, the bells come out this weekend, setting the stage for a renovation that'll make their return even sweeter.